did you realize that diabetes is the fastest growing disease on planet Earth? In China, there are over 100 million people that are diabetic, 100 million. In India, there are 68 million people that have diabetes. In Mexico, it's the leading cause of death, even higher than any other disease. In Australia, someone gets diabetes every five minutes. In fact, one out of every fourth person in a hospital bed is either a diabetic or there because they have some diabetic complications. And of course, in America, we don't really have diabetes. We're pretty much free of that disease. Uh, we're super healthy, and I'm being very sarcastic. Now, let's talk about why this is the fastest growing disease. I just wanna show you the mechanism here because it's very interesting. Of course, you already know this, but carbohydrates are the culprit and the frequency of eating, but mainly the carbs. So what happens when you eat carbs is you get too much sugar in the blood. So this pancreas here has a little cell called the beta cell, and its job is to make insulin. And insulin's job is to get the glucose out of the blood to maintain normal glucose. Now, it usually takes between 10 to 15 to 20 years to develop diabetes. And diabetes is simply a disease that you have too much glucose and sugar in the blood. But it takes a long time for that to show up on a blood test. So you're probably asking yourself, like, why doesn't that show up a lot sooner? Well, what's happening is the pancreas is compensating. It's trying to help you out. And it's producing a lot more insulin than it should. It's producing five to nine times as much insulin compared to a normal person. So it's a lot of insulin coming out there to keep this blood glucose normal. So you go to the doctor, they test you, everything comes out normal, you're good to go. Of course, you're eating tons of carbs, but it's not showing up in the blood because the pancreas is producing so much insulin. And one complication of this is that the cells are starting to resist insulin, okay, as a survival mechanism because too much insulin is toxic. So they're gonna create this condition called insulin resistance. So now the body has to make even more insulin to penetrate through the cells to eventually end up in the blood to remove the glucose. So here you are going along for 10 to 15 years, and yes, you're having problems getting up at night, sleep apnea, belly fat, a fatty liver. You're having a lot of problems with, that are associated with diabetes, and another name for it is a metabolic syndrome, but the blood glucose is still normal because of this compensation. But eventually what happens is the beta cell, the cell of the pancreas, starts to get tired and it starts to fail to compensate for this situation. So now it's not gonna produce the insulin. So the insulin's gonna go down, okay? Now, if we don't have enough insulin and we have the insulin resistance, what's gonna to happen to the blood glucose? It's gonna go up, 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 and that's when you're diagnosed with disease. So diabetes is diagnosed very late on the chain of events. If doctors knew this connection between carbs and insulin and blood sugars a little bit better, they could probably focus on the diet here and prevent this problem. And one thing they never do is check for insulin because if they did, they would find that, especially in a fasting insulin test, and the test that you'd wanna do is called a HOMA IR, they would find that you have high insulin. There's a really interesting medical doctor who did a lot of research in, in the VA hospital, and he tested um, thousands of people. And out of all these people with normal blood glucose, a good percentage of them had high insulin. And he would check them, not two hours after a meal, he would check them sometime five hours after a meal, and he would see this spike in insulin. So this data was known way back then. And of course, when you have these breakthroughs or these realizations, they're not really acknowledged until you know, most of the world has a major problem over many, many years. So this insulin resistance is in the periphery of the body. It's called peripheral resistance. And that's one of the reasons why you may get peripheral neuropathies, which basically is a problem 
the furthest away from the heart. It's like in the, the toes or your fingertips. That's when you notice it first. So this is what I want you to do. If you're a diabetic, next time you're at your doctor's office, just ask your doctor this one question, or actually two questions. One is this. Now, doc, isn't diabetes a disease of too much sugar in the blood? Then why aren't you recommending that I go on a low glucose or sugar or a carbohydrate diet? And just see what they say. Because what's shocking is that these basic things are not taught in medical school, which is quite ironic. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, um, click the link down below. Learn how to get on a low carbohydrate diet, do intermittent fasting, so you can decrease the need for this pancreas to work so hard. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.